Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Clancy Field at the Breed Complex, home of Babe Ruth Baseball for Babe Ruth State Tournament. Dorchester taking on Lynn. This is the 14-year-old version. Both teams are 1-0. Oh. Both teams staying, trying to stay alive to move on to the state final. Hit the second base. They only have one play. We're, we've already started, and that ground ball... Gets Braden Buckley in RBI because there was a runner at third base. We had a couple of diffi technical difficulties. Janulowicz got a leadoff single. And error put runs at first and second. The ground to the second moved them up. Now a runner to the second brings the run in. Kendall Diaz is on the mound. Deserved a better fate. He should have been out of the inning. Brendan Clower, the shortstop, is the hitter for Dorchester. They've made a bit of a trip to get here, winding up in the same pool with Lynn. Swing and a miss. Down the way for a ball. And it's ball four. So first and third now with two outs for Ryan Otto, the left fielder. Brings a conference out to the mound. Very nice night here. The sun is bright. They did a great job on the field. Babe Ruth always does a great job. They played doubleheader last night at Frazier Field. Couldn't play this one at Frazier because the navigators are home. The runner takes off, they let him go. So second and third now with two outs. In for a strike again. He is trying to keep the damage to a minimum. I stop by Huddle, the catcher, on a pitch down in the dirt. Nice pitch for strike three, so it gets him out of a little bit of damage. The error hurt. His first strikeout leaves the runner at third base. But Dorchester jumps out early. One run on the one hit. The error brought the run home. For Lynn, it'll be Elijah Murray, the extra hitter, leading off. Catching and batting second, Kalen Huddle. The shortstop, Nico Santos Estacio, Estacio, will bat third. Playing third and batting in the cleanup spot, Mark Walsh will get the win on the mound last night. Braden Oanesian, the right fielder, will bat number five. Gavin Collins will play first and bat sixth. Playing left field and batting seventh, Jared Burke. Pitching and batting eighth, Jendal Diaz. The second baseman, Riley Driscoll, 
will hit number nine. And Jack Spates, the center fielder, will hit number ten. Lynn, you can, and you heard me correct saying batting tenth. It's an extra hitter. It's not hitting for someone. It's an extra hitter. You bat ten. You don't have to. Dorchester is not. Just Dorchester is only batting nine. So Lynn's in a one nothing hole before they come to bat. The error hurt. And Dorchester took advantage and got on the board. James Janulowitz, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Another lefty, two lefties on the mound. Way high for a ball. Way high again. This Babe Ruth program has been around for a long time. They started out at Frazier Field and they moved it down here. This was just an oasis. There was nothing here but just a wide open park, wide open field, grass all over the place. And they went to work. They put the fences up, they put the press box in, they put the concession in, in the restrooms, the meeting room, batting cages. In the air, coming on as the center fielder making the play. That's Dominic Conti. So Muriel flies off the center field. Kalen Huddle, the catcher, will be the hitter. Swing and a miss. This is just before the holiday. Fourth of July coming up. We wish everybody a great, safe, happy holiday. This one, my dog will go crazy in the house with the fireworks. Popped up. Catcher got a late start, but he went back and got it. Nice job by Braden Buckley to go get that pop up. So two up, two down for Nico Santa Stasso. High for a ball. That one bounces out in front of home plate. 2 and 0. Oh. Little off speed pitch, it just floated in. Almost like a slow pitch arc. It looked high and then it dropped right over home plate. Perfectly for a strike. And that one hits him on the foot. So Lynn has a base runner. Mark Walsh, the third baseman, will be the hitter.
Walsh, I think, was square to bunt faking like he could bother the catcher and the pitcher to show maybe Santa Stasso could steal second. He didn't go. This was taken for a strike. Coach is coming out to talk to the Empire. I don't know if he's talking about if he wanted a block called. Discussion with the umpires. I hope these umpires are better than the umpires last night. It was not good. They gotta go back and take some classes. We had runners at second and third, a pop up to second base, they called the newsfield fly. They had a base runner going from first to second, plowed into the second baseman trying to make the catch on the pop up. They didn't make a call, the base somebody didn't make a call, the plate umpire had to call it. And the plate umpire in the, in the game with the 13 year olds was ducking every pitch. It's high. Throw down, not in time. So the stolen base puts the tying run in scoring position. Santa Nastasso at second. Two outs for Mark Walsh. Hit right back to the mound. Janulowicz makes the play himself. So Lynn gets a runner in scoring position, but he stays there. We finish an inning in this 14-year-old Babe Ruth State Tournament. Dorchester on top of Lynn, one to nothing. Ryan Otto, the left fielder, takes the pitch for a strike. High for a ball. Diaz starting his second inning of work. Hit foul, out of play. Let's just get a hit. An error and a couple of ground balls and get their run. And that's where we are, one nothing is in the top of the second inning. Nice stop by the shortstop, long throw, nice play. Anastasio, I know I'm not pronouncing that name correctly, made a great play. Had to go, Wade was right, backhanded. That was a great play in itself. Stopped her from going in the outfield, but they even had to make the long throw across the diamond and put it right on the money to the first baseman, Collins. So one up, one down. Swing and a miss. Dylan Kelly, the right fielder, is the hitter. In for a strike. He has throws it pretty good for a 14 year older. Low for a ball. Way up, hits the backstop on the fly. So he was ahead of him, now he's got to come in with a pitch. Swing and a miss, he gets him. 
Second strike off for Diaz. Mickey Quinlan, the second baseman, will be the hitter. High for a ball. In for a strike. One one the count for the Dorchester second baseman. Seems strange. Usually you would think it would be Saugus, Swampscott, Marblehead in this this section of the state tournament, but Dorchester wound up in this pool. Missing inside. Top of the order on deck. Swing and a miss. Goes the other way and lines into the left field for a base hit. So slicing it to the opposite field. Quinlan gets the second hit for Dorchester. Gives him a base run with two outs. The other base hit was by the guy in the batter's box, James Janulowicz, who helped himself. He got the base hit and scored the one run. He's the pitcher, so it's pitcher against pitcher here. The runner takes off. No chance. He got a huge jump. So a runner in scoring position with two outs. Hit to short. Long throw, nice play again. I see it to Stasso. That's a long throw to make for these young kids. So the hit doesn't hurt. With the stolen base, left at second base. And then we'll try to at least even the score. As they start the second inning, it'll be five, six, and seven. Braden Ornesian, Gavin Collins, Jared Burke. Five, six, and seven to face Janulowicz will be starting his second inning of work. Not a big presence in the mound. He's not a big boy. But he throws the ball pretty good. Yeah, it's a little bit different after she's left-handers all the time. Head coach Onesian, assistant Mr. Driscoll. This program does an outstanding job. They have they work all year. They have games down here with the kids, different different age groups. They're down here cutting the grass, raking the field, lining the fields, cleaning the water off when it rains, keeping everything in shape. Raising funds to get the, make sure they have their all-star uniforms and equipment, baseballs. Have to pay the umpires. And they do all of this and they don't make a nickel. Jeff Rupp ran this for a long time, did a tremendous job. They went to the national tournament last year after winning the States and the New Englands, the 15-year-olds. And Jeff finally called it a career. And now Rich Avery, who is the gatekeeper for Manning Field and Frazier Field, takes over and he's the, the head, but there's an awful lot of guys doing an awful lot of work. 
on four pitches on each end. Draws a walk. It'll bring up Gavin Collins, the first baseman. The runner takes off. The pitch was way high. The throw goes out in the center field, but Onesian slid into second, so he can't go anywhere. He got a big jump and got a great pitch to run on. Buckley, the catcher, had to go way up in the air to get the ball, then come down and throw it. And that's asking a little too much from a 14-year-old. So the tying run at second base. Pitch is high for a ball. We mentioned both teams are trying to go 2-0. and oh. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. Popped up, first baseman calling for it, backs up and makes the play. First out of the inning is a pop up to first base. And always, I always kind of smile a little bit, whether it's Babe Ruth, high school, college, pros. I look at the pop up, the waving their arms like, I got it, I got it. They're the only ones there, they have to get it. Chad Burke tried to bunt, popped it up, and bounced foul. High for a ball. Onesian at second base, he walked and stole second. Pop up the first, the first out, the way we are. The tying run at second was one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Wide for a ball. The noise you might hear is the bench, the Lynn bench. There are a few fans, there aren't a lot. High for a ball. Most of the Lynn fans over behind third base. There's a few Dorchester fans down here behind first base. Hit foul right into the Lynn dugout. Solid shot foul. No, they called it fair. Nobody moved. The hitter didn't go anywhere. The hitter stayed at the plate. So I thought they called it foul. But they, then he turned around and said, no, it's a fair ball. Burke gets the first hit for Lynn, and it's an RBI single. As Onesian scores the run that ties the game up. So obviously I can't see well, there's fair foul. We're behind first base, and that was hit right down the third base line. But when the, the hitter just stayed there, I assume the umpire said foul ball. Then at the last minute, the runner at first took off. Uh, the runner at the plate took off. And then we realized it was a fair ball just inside the third base bag. He might have been able to get a double if he ran when he hit it. He had a decent lead at first base. Taking off. Ball hit the third. They look. Nice play by the first baseman to field that throw. Burke, the runner, was off and running. 
Diaz bounces out third to first, and the first baseman, Mahoney, did a great job fielding that. It bounced in front of him. If he doesn't field it, the runner's gonna score. Because Burke went all the way to third on that ground ball. Riley Driscoll, the second baseman, is the hitter. So the go-ahead run at third with two outs. Great hustle by Burke. He was off and running to steal the base. The ball was hit to third, and they almost threw it away. Chop, bounces foul. Everybody was ready. Driscoll stepped out. So Janula would stepped off. Now we're back to baseball. Waves at that pitch. And he was going back to the dugout. They have to throw him out at first base. So the strikeout ends the inning. But a big base hit by Jared Burke after a walk to Onesian. Gets Lynn on the board, and that ties it up. So we started dead even. We played two innings, and we're dead even. Lynn won, Dorchester won, going into the third. Dominic Conti, the center fielder, will lead off. He helped that first run score. He hit a ground ball to third, and the error on his ground ball. Helped keep, keep the inning alive. There were two errors. There were two ground balls after the error, after a base hit in an error. And this, the two ground balls would have been three outs, and Dorchester would not have scored if they made didn't make the error. In for a strike. Diaz has given up the one run, and it was unearned. Up and away for a ball. In for a strike. Swing and a miss. He has got a strike out an inning. That's his third. Logan Mahoney grounded out. Second baseman Driscoll to the first baseman Collins. That was the ground ball that moved the runner to third. Fouled off the catcher for strike one. That hit him on the shoulder. He tried to duck under it, thinking it was over his head, and it wound up hitting him. So the hit batsman gives Dorchester a base runner with one out. Braden Buckley hit the second of ground balls to the second baseman. His ground ball, the second, knocked a run in. So he's 0 for 1, but he's got an RBI. And Back-to-back -back hit batsman. Well, Dorchester trying to get the lead back. As they have first and second with nobody out, that brings the conversation out to the mound. Brendan Clower, the shortstop, drew a walk in the first inning.
Well, the conference on the mound, that gets Dorchester conference with the base runners. So meetings all over the place. Lynn Outfield, all three outfields converging, having a meeting of their own. So the wheels are turning everywhere. We're going to get a new pitcher, I think. I didn't know that was coming. Inward Biedo is going to be the new pitcher. So we go from lefty to righty. Diaz goes two and a third. Gives up a run, it's unearned. Struck all three, walked to batter, and hit two. He hit the two that are on base now, and he's responsible for those two. So Pieta will try to get Lynn out of this sticky situation. Brendan Clower, the shortstop, will be the hitter. In first strike. Yeah, a little mustard on his pitch. Swing and a miss. Slicing foul down the right side. Went the other way with it, hit foul. And we'll do it again. Hit in the left field for a base hit. The run's gonna score. They almost got the runner going back to second base. Flower hit that right between first and third for an RBI. So the hit batsman hurts. It's still first and second. We're all, that run is charged to Diaz. Now discussion again with Lynn Coach and the umpire. Whatever that was, they settled it and we're back to baseball. Ryan Otto was called out on strikes his first trip. So Lynn sees Dorchester take the lead. Lynn comes back and ties it at one. Now Dorchester that comes back and gets that one run lead back. And he still have two one with one out. Dorchester saw a walk hurt them to score the run. Now Lynn sees two hit batsmen put people on and that and the hit the first hit batsman scores the run to break the tie. In for a strike. Here it doesn't take much time. Good pitch for a strike. Jumps ahead of auto. Yeah, that's strike three. Good pitch.
his first strikeout. Jack Kelly, the third baseman, is the hitter. He grounded out short to first, his one trip. Anastasio made a very nice play at shortstop to throw him out. In for a strike. Missing wide for a ball. Boy, the ball comes back, he catches it, steps on the rubber, and he's ready to throw. He goes right to the stretch. Nice stop by Hoddle, the catcher on the pitch in the dirt. It keeps the runs at first and second. Steps off trying to keep the runner at second close. Down and away for a ball. Collins at first is way back, not holding the runner at first. They're trying to hold the runner at second. And that's a walk. And that loses the bases. With two outs. But Dylan Kelly, who struck out swinging his one trip, I don't know if they're related. Jack Kelly is the third baseman. Dylan Kelly is the right fielder. If they are, they've got to be twins if they're both 14. Although Jack Kelly at first is a lot bigger than Dylan Kelly at the plate. And I take it back. They did, I didn't hear the announcement. It was... Ed Mercado hitting for Jack Kelly that drew that walk. Hit back to the mound. They make the play at first. When Drosnesser gets a run, they leave the bases loaded. But they break the tie and give themselves a one-run cushion again. One run on one hit. There were two hit batsmen and a walk. Mercado hit for the third baseman, but he's playing first base. So they made changes and I I, I don't even know if they're announcing it. I don't know if anybody's announcing. I don't think they are. Substitutions all over the place. The coach trying to tell me the first patient went to play right field. The left fielder is pitching. Mercado, who hit for the third baseman, is playing first base. It's the top of the order for Lynn in the bottom of the third inning as they're now back trailing by a run. Trying to butt, missed it. 
Excuse me, this is Jack Page. I forgot they bat 10. Jack Page, the center fielder, and then the top of the order. Missed the bunt. Hangs up and in for a ball. That pitch was way down in the dirt and away. He wishes he took that pitch. Swings and misses for strike three. So Janulowicz went two innings, gave up one base hit, walked a batter, hit a batter, gave up a run run. And he's the leading pitcher as he goes out leading two to one. Hit long and deep to left field. Way over the left fielder's head. Out at third base. Well, he hit that a ton. He got the second base easily. And then the left fielder to the shortstop to the third baseman. So he gets a double, but he's out. Kalen Huddle will be the hitter. They would have had the tying run at second with nobody out. But they try to get it to third, and he was a dead duck. The only hope Lynn had on that play was if the relay was thrown away, and it wasn't. It was right on the money. In for a strike. Looked like a changeup. Huddle popped up to the catcher as one trip. Tried the same pitch to change up and hung inside. Swing and a miss. Took it, and it's in for strike three. So Lynn gets a double, but thrown out at third base. Auto comes in relief, strikes out two batters. We played three, and Dorchester still has that one run cushion, two to one. Dorchester over Lynn at the end of three. He would be eight or will start his second inning of work. He'll face Mickey Quinlan. The number nine hitter, nine, one, and two for Dorchester. Quinlan got a base hit. He went being left handed. He punched one into left field going the other way. Back in the second inning. Solar base, but there were two outs when he did. They got out of the inning. Hit to short. They throw the ball away. The error allows them to run, to lead. Collins had to come off the bag to make the catch. So the error gives Dorchester a runner with nobody out for the top of the order. James Janulowicz, I don't know where he's playing. He was the starting pitcher. I have no idea where he's playing. They moved everybody all over the place. Yeah. 
out at second base. Nice throw by Huddle. Nice tag by Driscoll. So the error doesn't hurt as they're throwing out at second base. Perfect throw and a very nice tag by Driscoll, Riley Driscoll. Janulowicz had to go play someplace because they don't have an extra hitter. They're only batting nine. Chop, foul. Hold it foul. I'm waiting till they call a foul because the last time they said foul was a fair ball. We're not even close to the third base line, so I can't tell. It, it did go foul and actually it bounced over the fence out in the street. Good curveball. He bucked away and it dropped in. Second strikeout for Viedo. Dominic Quanti reached an error, struck out swinging. He's up against Viedo for the first time. His two at bats were against Diaz. Low for a ball. Good pitch for a strike. Waves at that pitch, it was low. So the arrow's thrown out trying to steal, then he strikes out back to back, three strikeouts for Viedo. First inning that damp Dorchester didn't get a hit. So they've scored every other inning. They scored in the first, missed the second, scored in the first, missed the fourth. We're halfway through the ball game. Dorchester holding on to a two to one lead. As we mentioned, both teams trying to go two and oh. And it makes a major difference if you can win your pool, you, you get to play home in at least the quarterfinals, maybe the semifinals before you go to the finals on a neutral field. Ryan Otto will start his second inning of work. And it will be three, four, three, four, and five for Lynn. Nico Santanastasso got hit by a pitch his first trip. He's made a couple of nice plays at shortstop. Trying to figure out who's playing where. They moved everybody all over the place. Janulowicz, the pitcher, is now playing left field. Matt O'Laughlin is playing second base. I don't know who he came in for. Because the second baseman, Quinlan is playing third base. Mercado came in for him and he's playing first base. 
And the first baseman is laying right field. Hit in the air. It's in for a base hit. Gets by the left fielder. Around first, heading for second. San Stasso gets a double. Lynn has the tying run on second with nobody out. For Mark Walsh, who bounced to the pitcher, his one trip. That bounced in front and then skipped past the left fielder. So an easy double. In for a strike. We mentioned Walsh was the winning pitcher. Last night pitched a great game. Defeating Peabody. Again, looked like he took something off and Walsh was out in front, swung right through it. Hit in the left field for a base hit. The run is going to score, and they throw the ball home, and that allows Walsh to go to second. So Walsh gets a big base hit in an IBI. A double and a single have tied the game up. And he threw the ball home. So they score. Walsh goes to second on the throw. And then they try to throw him out at second base. I don't know why, he was virtually there. They threw it into center field. It bounced off the center fielder. Walsh comes all the way around to score. And for the first time this evening, Lynn has a three to two lead. They get the bunt down. They let it go foul. It would have been a base hit. Would have been a perfect bunt by Onesian. The pitcher was the only one that came close. Otto and he just let it go and it went foul. So Walsh gets the big base hit. The RBI, and then he scores the run on the error. Throwing it into the outfield. He scoots around and scores. Down the way for the ball. Hit the short. Safe. Throw it off the bag. The shortstop, Clower lost his hat trying to make the play. It went off. Mercado, the first baseman, had to reach to go get it. Couldn't tag Owenesian. So the runner, Yera puts the runner at first. In for a strike. Gavin Collins popped up to the first baseman. His one trip. The runner takes off, swing and a miss. In with a stolen base. So a runner in scoring position. If you got two runs in, still nobody out. Double the single, and then back-to-back -back errors. Hit into center field for a base hit. Now he was going 
And he said, no, I can't go. I'm going to get thrown out. So he stopped to go back. They threw the ball to third. They threw it away. Both runners will move up. So he stayed it. He would have been a dead duck if he tried to go to third if they made a good throw. He knew that. He went halfway, he started to go back to second base, and then realized when they threw the third, the ball got away, bounced loose. So it's second and third now with nobody out. Hit slowly to third. They only have one play. That's the first base. Jared Burke gets thrown on five to three, but he gets an RBI. Collins will move over to third. This is the pitcher, Ewood Beato, up for the first time. Down the way for a ball. So the first three hitters have scored in this inning. The fourth hitter is at third base with one out. Up and away for a ball. In for a strike. Two one the count. Foul off the screen, reach for that pitch. So Dwight just to get their first run on an error. They get their second run, helped out by two hit batsmen. Let that little off speed pitch, very late swing. Just at the last second, you decided I'm going to swing the bat. You got one of those motorcycle wackos flying up and down, making an awful lot of noise. Hit in the left field for a base hit. Well, Beato helps himself with a base hit. All that noise you hear is just one of those. Motorcycle young men flying up and down, making as much noise as he can up and down the street. Not going anywhere. Riley Driscoll gets the bunt down. They'll throw him out. The run is going to third. Out at third. So we try to go to third on the play, and they throw him out. So the double play ends the inning. But a big inning, Lynn gets four on the board, and they wipe out that one run lead that Dorchester had. It's now five to two, Lynn, as we move into the fifth inning. Three, four, and five for Dorchester as we start the fifth inning. And Beato, for the first time, a Lynn pitcher on the mound has a lead. Dorchester scored very early, got a run at the top of the first. The closest Lynn came was a tie at one. Dorchester led two to one, but now the four run inning in the fourth, helped out by a couple of errors, gives Lynn a five to two lead. Swing and a miss. Chase that high pitch. So Mahoney strikes out. Four strikeouts. For Beato. Braden Buckley bounced out to second base, getting an RBI. 
Got hit by a pitch. He was the first. He was the second uh, back-to-back hit pitch, hit batsman. The first one scored that gave Dorchester their last lead at two to one. In for a strike. In the center field for a base hit. Buckley gets a base hit. He's at first with one out. Pending Clover, the, the shortstop is perfect. He walked and singled in a run. So he's one for one with an RBI. The run of fake like he was going to steal second base. Huddle has already thrown one out trying to steal. That was a little, almost like a half hearted swing. It was like at the last second, I, I guess I should swing at this. He just tipped it foul. Almost like a half swing. Another little mediocre swing. They throw it away because in the center field they had him. They had to play at second, and he just couldn't catch the ball. Hustling to third was Buckley, so it's first and third with one out. The error. And that's going to bring a conference again out to the mound. Piero made the right play, threw it to second base. It just went off the glove, out and he couldn't catch it, and it deflected out into center field. Buckley kept going to third. Clower reaches first, and that allows Dorchester to bring the tying run to home plate. So both teams being very charitable. Errors galore. Third error for Lynn. One help scored the first run. Dorchester's made two. The runner takes off. They throw it to the shortstop to cut it off, hoping the runner at third would go. He didn't. So it's second and third with one out. Ryan Arnold, the pitcher, has struck out twice, both called. Once against Diaz and once against Piedo. Slices it foul right past us, down the right side. Pass first base. We're in the top of the fifth, five to two, Lynn. Second and third, one out for Dorchester. And that's a call, third strike. Third time he's been called out. Fifth strike out for Piedo. High and tight. Almost got a piece of Mercado. He's been up once. He came in, replaced Jack Kelly, the third baseman, and drew a walk. 
and then went to play first base. In for a strike. Pio looking for an out, trying to keep it a three run lead. Dorchester, one swing of the back, can get a lot closer. Now, one more strike can get Piano out of this difficult spot, not of his making. Eddie McCow is a big boy for 14. Almost looked like he took something off. It dropped over but low. Missing wide for a ball. Deuce is wild, two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Strike three call, good pitch. He strikes out the side. So he gave up a hit. His team let him down with an error, put runs at second and third. He strikes out the next two hitters and he keeps Dorchester off the board. Six strikeouts. He came in and got a strikeout to get out of the inning. Struck out two in the fourth, now he strikes out the side in the fifth. He gave up his first hit. Hit in the air. It left in second or third with the only two base runners that Piano was allowed. There was another error, but it was thrown out trying to steal second. It'll be 10, 1, and 2 for Lynn as we start the bottom of the fifth. Logan Mahoney is back at first base. And I think Jack Kelly is back at third base. As I mentioned, the don't they usually announce these games. They're not doing it tonight. So we're not being kept up to date on who's going where. Dorches has made move players all over the place. Lynn's only change has been the pitcher. Jack Spates will be the leadoff hitter. He struck out swinging his one trip. So 10, one and two to face Ryan Ott, who come in relief. He'll be starting his third inning. Spades tried to bunt, pitch was high, missed it, strike one. One one the count as the ball goes to the backstop. Popped up. 
Behind first base, long run, can't get there. It's going to be a base hit. The first baseman was shading in, thinking he might try to bunt. And space just drops it over the first baseman's head, beyond the reach of the second baseman in front of the right fielder. Elijah, almost, he almost picked him off. Elijah Moria fly to center, double to deep left, but he tried to extend it to a triple and got thrown out at third base. High and tight. Safe at second, the throw is high. Slides in underneath. Kalen Huddle, the catcher for Lynn, is the only one that's thrown a runner out at second base. Swing and a miss. Chase that pitch, it was down the way. Foul. Back in how to play. Yep, nice play by the second baseman. That's Matt O'Laughlin. He went way to his right. When he caught it, he was standing on second base. So he takes a hit away from Moria. It's not a sacrifice, but it works the same. It moves Spates over to third base. Halen Hoddle popped to the catcher, was called out on strikes. Lynn looking to add to the lead. They got a runner at third with one out. Fishing inside for a ball. Solid shot into left center field for a base hit. Wobbled out there by the center fielder. Hoddle gets a base hit, goes to second on the arrow. Gets an RBI. Spades comes in and adds another run on the Lynn scoreboard. Down the way for a ball. Off the catcher will move the runner up. That's a pass ball. So a runner at third. For Nico Santanastasso. Got hit by a pitch, doubled and scored. So he's one for one with a run scored. Punches it foul past third base. Picked that one off his ear. Down the way, took a good look at that one.
One run in, one out, a runner at third here in the bottom of the fifth. Hit, saw lead to center field, caught. <laughs> Ponte makes the catch. It also will get an RBI. Hit it well, but hit it right at the center fielder. Huddle scores easily. Mark Walsh bounced to the pitcher, singled in a run, and he wound up going all the way around. He threw the ball home. He took off for second base. They threw the ball a second. It went by everybody off the center fielder, and he kept going all the way around, scored. And that was the run that gave Lynn their lead. And they'd been adding to it. Hit in the air, center fielder again. Conchie moves over, makes his second play. So Lynn is out, but they had two more runs. A big RBI single by Huddle, a big RBI sacrifice fly by, by Santa Nastasso. And all of a sudden, that two to one lead by Dorchester is now seven to two Lynn as we move into the sixth inning. Matt O'Laughlin will be up for the first time. He went in to play second base when they made all their changes. Quick strike. Piedo brings it, got a little mustard on his pitch. Wide for a ball. Swing and a miss. One, two, the count. High for a ball. Count evens at two. I thought they would have put the lights on by now. You got them? Hit foul out of play. The one two pitch again. High for a ball. I missed the pitch. It's now three and two. Call third strike. He's got that pitch on the corner down pat. Last six outs have been strikeouts. You got a strikeout coming to relief to get the third out. He beat it for a base hit. Nicky Quinlan gets the second hit, a perfect bunt. Everybody in the second base, a little bit late getting the cover first, but he beat it anyway. So I miss him. He got the third out, coming in with a strikeout. Fourth, first hitter in the, in the sixth. We saw an error got thrown out trying to steal. Struck out the next two. Struck out the side in the fifth. And got the strikeout for the first out here in the sixth. <laughs> Diving. Quinlan wound up flat on his back. Diving back to first. He didn't make the throw. But... 
Hit the shot. They get one. They got two. They turn two. Great turn in the middle by Driscoll. Anthony Nastasio with the little flip, and then Driscoll with the great in the middle. The great turn. So they get a base hit, but it doesn't help them because it's wiped out on a base hit. So they had a runner thrown out trying to steal. Now they have a runner out, double play. They're down to the last three outs. It'll be five, six, and seven for Lynn as we move into the bottom half of the sixth inning. Second game for both teams. Both teams won their first. So a big win it would be for Lynn. The 14-year-olds won last night. A 13-year-olds won last night for their second win. So they're two and zero. So the program doing very well to this point in the state tournament. Braden Oenesian walked and scored, reached on error and scored. Otto back on the mound. Pitch misses inside for a ball. Bounces in. Two and zero. Oh. The two old pitch coming. Goes to the backstop wide, and it's three and zero. Oh. It was red hot all day and the sun has gone away and it has cooled off quite a bit. Still, still fairly comfortable, but cool. Almost like you wish you brought a sweatshirt or a sweater. Takes two pitches after getting ahead three and oh. Auto comes in with two strikes. Now the payoff pitch will be up and coming. Three and two. Onesian asked for time. Auto was getting set to throw. Hit to left field, coming on. Nice job. Janulowicz, who was the starting pitcher, comes in and makes that play. Takes a hit away, Onesian. He's out for the first time. One up, one down. Gavin Collins popped the first, singled and scored. In for a strike. Waved at that pitch, took something off. It went down and away, and he chased it way out in front of that one. 
Arnold got a lot of help on that pitch. Fishing inside for a ball. Down the way again. Hit in the air, long run for the left fielder. Makes his second play. Collins got all of that. Janula would strike it down. Two up, two down. Jared Burke singled, knocking in a run. Grounded out third to first, knocking in a run. First two miss down the way. Hit in the air coming on the center fielder. Conti makes the play. So three fly balls to the outfield. Puts the sixth inning to rest for Lynn. And we move into the seventh inning. Josh just an easy inning. They're trailing seven to two with three outs left in this 14-year-old Babe Ruth tournament game. Dominic Conti will lead off the seventh inning for Dorchester. He reached on an error. Last two times he struck out swinging. One of those was against Diaz, the other one was against Bietos, who's been outstanding on the mound. In for a strike. Thought about it, good thing he held up, it bounced in front of home plate. Down the way for a ball. In for a strike. Count goes full. Oh, big pitch coming up. Swing and a miss. Yeah, it has been unbelievable. Got eight strikeouts. Four and a third innings. Foul off the catcher. He's given up two hits. They made a couple errors behind them. One error was thrown out trying to steal. The other error helped Josh just to get runs the second and third. Peter took care of that. He struck out the next two hitters. And kept Dorchester off the board. Missing wide for a ball. Logan Mahoney grounded a second, got hit by a pitch and scored and struck out. In for a strike. Go. 
high and away for a ball. Fishing for ball four. This is the first walk given up. Chase, that pitch was over his head. This is Braden Buckley, the catcher. Grounded out second and first, getting an RBI. Got hit by a pitch, singled. So he's got a hit and an RBI. On the corner for a strike. That's been a big pitch. That pitch on the outside corner has got him most of his eight strikeouts. Chase the pitch over his head. Yet another strikeout. Dorchester down there, last out. Well, Brendan Cloud, the shortstop, is hit for the trifecta. He's walked, singled in a run, reached on an error. Takes the pitch for a strike. Punched in the right field for a base hit. He almost threw him out at first base. So first and second with two outs. Ryan Otto, the pitcher, has been called on strikes three times. Once by Diaz, the starter, the last two. Piedo, the reliever. Piedo will get the win. He, he came in and with the score two to one after Diaz had hit two batters in a row. One of them scored to give Dorchester the last lead at two to one. In for a strike. Missing low for a ball. 1-1 one, one the count. Lynn is one out away from going 2-0 and oh and giving Dorchester their first loss. Didn't miss by much. Two and one. In for a strike. Deuce is wild. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Strike three call, he strikes out the side for the second time. He came in and what a masterpiece. He struck out 10, gave up three base hits that were spaced. Didn't give up a run, walked one and gets the win and gets Lynn to 2 and 0 in the state tournament and gives Dorchester their first loss. He was outstanding on the mound. 10 strikeouts, struck out the side twice, got two in the fourth inning. Dorchester got a run in the first on a hit, a couple of ground balls and an error, and they were leading one to nothing. Lynn tied it up in the second. Braden Onesian walked, stole second, scored on Burke's base hit. It was one to one. Dorchester got that last lead. Two hit batsman, an RBI single by Clower. Knocked in the run to make it two to one. That was their last lead. Lynn took over in the fourth. Sanson 
Estasso led with a double, scoring on Mark Walsh's base hit. Walsh went to second when they threw the ball home. When they tried to throw him out at second, they threw it away into the outfield. He came all the way around and scored the second run. Owenese oh, reached on an error, stole second. An error in the outfield, and then a ground ball by the third base by Brooke, knocked in a run, and RBI by Diaz, uh, uh, excuse me, Biedo, knocked in a run. It was five to two. They added two more in the fifth. Spates led with a single, stole second, went to third on a ground ball, scored on Huddle, Huddle's base hit. Huddle went to second. It went to third in a pass ball, scored on a fly ball to center field, made it seven to two, and that was the final score as Lynn is able to go to two and oh. Dorchester will go to one and one for Lynn. Uh, Elijah Murray got a double, got, unfortunately got thrown out trying to make it a triple. Kalen Huddle did a nice job behind the plate. He singled, knocked in a run, scored a run. Santon Destasso got hit by a pitch. Doubled, scored a run, had a sacrifice fly for an IBI. Mark Walsh had a single, knocking in a run, scored a run. Braden, Owenesian, walked and scored, reached on the error and scored. Gavin Collins got a base hit and scored a run. Jared Burke had a single for an IBI, grounded out the third for an IBI. Edward, Edward Beato got a base hit, knocking in a run. Speed's got a base hit and scored a run, and Vieta would come in a relief, shut Dorchester down, allowed only three hits over four and a third innings, walked one, gave up only three base hits, spit them out well out, struck out ten, struck out the side twice, and gets the big win. Lynn goes to two and oh. Dorchester will go to one and one, seven to two. Lynn over Dorchester, the final score. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Don Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.